Revelation 13 gives John's account of the visions which he had concerning the two beasts. A seven-headed leopard-like beast that represents a global governing authority, and a lamb-like beast who represents Lucifer, who will physically appear on earth at the fifth trumpet. Verse 6-8 reveals that 25% of the earth's population will perish from the devastation of the first four trumpets. The response from this will result in a worldwide coalition, a crisis government that will act to appease the wrath of God. This Neo-Babylonian system is referred to as the leopard-like beast that John sees coming out of the sea. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns, and each head had a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had the feet like those of a bear, and the mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne, and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? Babylon will form during the first four trumpets and will rule over the world as a church-state government. The leopard-like beast will be a religious authority that religious and political leaders of the world will create in the early days of Great Tribulation. Their efforts will give way to this beast of a government to mediate between God and man. The seven heads represent seven religions or belief systems of the world. Atheism, Heathenism, Eastern Mysticism, Judaism, Islam, Catholicism, and Protestantism. The problem with this religious coalition is that each group views God's will in a different way, resulting in a great deal of confusion about repentance and worship. That is why the beast is called Babylon, because Babylon means confusion. When the leopard-like beast rises from the sea, John notices one of its heads seemed to have a fatal wound, but the wound had been healed. History records that the Roman Catholic Church lost its authority over the kings of Europe during the French Revolution from 1789 to 1799. The Pope, Pius VI, was exiled to France in 1798, and the authority of the church was badly wounded. Notice when the beast rises from the sea, the deadly wound is healed. This specification forces the appearing of the beast after 1798 because the wound cannot be healed before it is inflicted. Consider the similarities between the beasts in Daniel 7 and the beast in Revelation 13. Both beasts persecute the saints for a specific amount of time. The fourth beast in Daniel 7 persecuted the saints for 1260 years, and the leopard-like beast will persecute God's people for 42 months during a time of great tribulation. These two time periods cannot be the same. If they are, then the leopard-like beast would have to rise to power along with the fourth beast in 168 BC. This of course is not possible because John documented that when he saw the beast rising out of the sea, the deadly wound had been healed. If we as professing believers must perish at the hands of authority during a time of great tribulation on earth, the sleep will be a short rest, a release from the chaos and uncertainty of our endurance. For John wrote, Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. And it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in full view of the people. Because of the signs it was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast, it deceived the inhabitants of the earth. It ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword, and yet lived. This lamb-like beast is none other than Lucifer himself, also previously referred to as the dragon in Revelation 12. Lucifer is allowed to physically appear on earth at the fifth trumpet. He will come masquerading as Almighty God, performing miraculous signs, and many will believe the lie. Notice that it is he who in fact gives power to the first beast, the devil's puppet government, so to speak. The foundation will have been laid and the stage set and the Antichrist system established during the first four trumpets prior to the ushering in of the lawless one and assuming of his power. Lucifer knows his time is short, for he takes a last stand to deceive as many people as he can while on earth. His aim is to turn as many away from God as possible by any means necessary. It is worth noting there is a direct parallel drawn between Daniel 8 and Revelation 13. Both books in these chapters talk of the coming rise of the Antichrist.
In the latter part of their reign, when rebels have become completely wicked, a fierce-looking king, a master of intrigue, will arise. He will become very strong, but not by his own power. He will cause astounding devastation and will succeed in whatever he does. He will destroy those who are mighty, the holy people. He will cause deceit to prosper, and he will consider himself superior. When they feel secure, he will destroy many and take his stand against the Prince of Princes. Yet he will be destroyed, but not by human power.